All right, Google SketchUp for schools. Let's see if I can knock this one out a little quicker than the last couple ones. I go to Google SketchUp for schools. That brings me into the free SketchUp software. I sign in with my Google account and I'm gonna create a new drawing. This is gonna be drawing number three. It is a one by one Lego. I'm gonna draw it in metric millimeters, so it's gonna be really small. So I'm gonna create a new document. I am gonna use millimeters. And then I'm gonna zoom way in. So this is gonna be a small project. So that's probably good right there. I'm gonna click on this guy and get rid of him. And then I want to keep zooming in even a little bit more. Once I draw my rectangle, it'll be easier to see. So I'm gonna go over here to my Create Geometry tool. I'm gonna to see how that little square is blue. That's how I can extrude it up upwards in the Z axis. I just click and I draw over and up. Without holding the mouse down, I'm gonna hit eight comma eight, enter. And there's my little Lego block. You can see how small it is. Okay, I hit escape if I'm done. There's my selection tool. And now that I have that, let me pull it over even more. I'm going to extrude that block up eight millimeters as well. So I just type in eight. I don't have to put units because I selected those units when I started. You can see the eight in the lower right hand corner for the measurement. There it is. And if I go down here to orbit, here's my zoom. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. The other feature I like too is this little hand. I'm going to grab the whole thing and kind of center it up. I'll go back here and zoom in some more. And then I'm going to go over and put in dimensions. And I want to dimension all three axes. Looking for like a little tape measure here. It's not the tape measure. It's this tool here. It's a dimension tool. I'm going to click right on that point and that point and draw out. And I can see I'm eight millimeters. That would be an X. I'm going to click on that endpoint. Whoops. Click that. I'm going to hit escape to get out of that. And then I'm going to go back to my dimension tool. And then I'll click on that endpoint and that endpoint. Draw it over. And then in the Y axis, I'll draw that one out. So those are my dimensions. I'm going to escape out after that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a roller button in the middle of the mouse to change my orientation. And I want to draw a circle up here. I want it perfectly centered. There's probably a good way to do it, maybe a better way than this, but I'm going to actually create what's called a construction line. And I'm going to draw a line from one corner to the other. And the reason why I do that is I know if I could snap on that midpoint, it'll be centered in that square. So I'm going to hit escape out of that, over to my geometry tool, select circle, and it'll snap right on that midpoint. I want that circle to have a diameter of five millimeters. So I see in the bottom right hand corner it's a radius. I'm going to type in 2.5, half of that five, and hit enter. There's a circle on top with a diameter of five millimeters. I'll escape out of there. Back to my selection tool. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. I'm going to click on this line, hit delete. Delete, delete, whoops, I'm going to hit escape out of that, control Z to undo that, and then I'm going to click on that line and hit delete. So again, I, I drew that construction line to find the center point. I'm going to extrude that circle up to make it into a cylinder, and I'm going to extrude it up two millimeters, so I draw it up, two, enter, there's the top of the Lego, escape. Now I'm going to actually turn this Lego over, and I'm going to create a cavity inside the Lego. So the way I do that is with my roller mouse, I'm going to go all the way around. I'm going down here into negative space. I'm going to create an offset here of 1.5 millimeters. So that's under the extrusion tool here. Here's offset. I want to offset that and bring it in, I type in 1.5, enter. 
back over here to the toolbar. Here's my extrusion tool. I'm going to click on this and bring it up. Six millimeters, enter. And then I'll hit escape to get out of that. And using the roller mouse, I'll come back into positive space. So there it is there. I couldn't find the x-ray tool on any bars. I think it's somewhere here under styles. But the way I did it is I just went to the search and I typed in x-ray. And I just typed in an X and this popped up. And this actually toggles x-ray on and off. So now I'm in the x-ray mode and I could kind of see in there. And now I'm going to put some more dimensions on those internal parts. So I go back over here to my dimension tool. I need the width of this. One of the height of the internal cavity. I want my lines to cross if I work there. If I don't put in the other dimensions, it implies it's square. So that'll give me the ins inside dimensions. Click on that circle. It'll give me a diameter notation. Draw it up that angle there. And I'll also do the height from here to here. Thanks, get out of there. Go back to that selection tool, see if I could delete that dimension and do that again. I mean, it's not, if I change my orientation, it really helps a lot. So I don't want that midpoint, I want that blue line, and I could drag it out to a height of two millimeters. So I guess one more dimension would be the offset dimension here. Okay, I'm going to escape out of that. I have everything dimensioned on there. And lastly, I'm going to put some text on there. So escaping out, I'm going to come to the top of the circle. I'll zoom in a little bit more. If I want to get out of x-ray mode, back to the magnifying glass, I just type in the X, and it'll turn off the x-ray mode. Um, let me close that. And then I'm going to go down to creating geometry, and here's my text box. I'm going to type on there Lego. And the height of those letters is 1.1. And I am going to extrude these 0.1 high, so they are going to stand proud a little bit. I'll hit OK. And then I want those Legos There's on the face of it there. And then I'll hit escape to get out of that text box. Make sure I got it on there correctly, so that looks good. I'm going to go back to my geometry tool, back to the text box. I'm going to, you're going to put your own name on here. I'm just going to put Colfax Math on there with the same dimensions. And I'll put Colfax Math right on the front of the box. Again, escape out, um, change the orientation around. And then because it's saved, I'm just going to upload it in Google Classroom. And there's a one-by-one one Lego box. And hopefully that helped. If you have any better ways to do this, please comment in the video below. This is Colfax Math um, going over SketchUp for Schools.